Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this unit. It is called Buzz Mate 1. Yes, it's a S95W chipset. It formerly known as Boomerang Mate 1. Packaging is still the same as Boomerang, but Buzz TV inquired it and now it became Buzz TV. So let's go through and unbox and also show you how much changes came to this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Plus, share this with your friends and family and click the notification icon to be notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, click the, click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly to you. If you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. You can see that the box is really nicely designed going around. It doesn't have much marking, but once we open it, so it comes with a really nice power supply which is created for Canada and United States. And you can see that the part of it that connects to the box itself is a little bit bigger than the other boxes, but the connector itself is nicely done and there's no markings on it, but this one is 5 volt 2 amps. It also comes with a HDMI cable which is 2.0 and it is about a meter long. It also comes with a IR remote which does indicate on it that this is for Buzz TV. It does take two AAA batteries which is included inside the box and also it has all the mandatory features on it. Doesn't matter if you want to go to live TV, VOD or even electronic program guide it's all going to be here. It has some other shortcuts but you can use it. The best part is that some of the parts indicated to you is not just icons it actually have words on it and also it has the static mouse remember that since this is an android box you really require to get a air mouse remote with this if you need it links will be available in the bottom the next part is the actual box so it is sitting inside of a little envelope once you take it out i know that it's huge writing on it saying boomerang but this was inquired by Buzz TV and now it is called Buzz Mate 1. So yes it looks beautiful again there is a lot of clones of this out this is the original creators so here you go you can see the front is just have the IR sensor going on the side there's nothing on one side going to the back part of it you will get the connection for the DC which is 5 volt 2 amps you do have optical audio it does work for your stereo system also you have HDMI 2.0 then you do have a 10100 LAN connection you do have an AV port there's no prongs part of it and it's not going to work. This part is really good if you want to reset your box. Also, there is an IR connector here that will extend your IR connector so that way you can go a little bit further and use your IR remote with this. Going on the other side of it, you do have a regular USB connector. This is really good if there's a software update available and you want to do it. And also there is a USB 2.0 connector. So this one would really work with your remote control. And this is good for your external hard drive that can read up to two terabyte. And also there is a little connector right here that is for your SD card slot or called micro SD card slot. And that one will read up to 64 gigabyte. Looking at the bottom, you have some holes for ventilation and you have two stickers, one for Mac and one for serial number. There are some legs so it can stand up. Make sure you put it on a flat surface and let's get it connected. So if you have a air mouse remote, go ahead, connect that first and then connect your HDMI cable and then connect your power. All right, so while this is booting up for very first time, you will see a nice animation going through, which is similar to the one from the XPL 3000. Once it goes and this is the new UI that you will see. Yes, it is very similar to the boomerang itself, but here is a little difference. So with the mouse, I'm just going to show you that I have the Buzz logo now, not Boomerang. Also go on to the right side, you have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and Ethernet and you have the time and date. Now this is correct, by the way. And also going down, you will see a bunch of icons. So live TV, VOD, TV series, this can disappear if your provider does not provide it for you. And then you have the electronic program guide. 
Now this section right now is off because I'm not logged into in IPTV. Usually there should be a screen and a screen plus you have all apps you can click on it and all the apps that you install will be here. I like that little animation that they have entered. Once we get out of it you will see App Store which will be the App Toy TV and then the Google Play Store. Yes, fully functional Google Play Store. You can go and you can install other apps and also update. You do have a little plus and minus so you can click on this and this is how you're going to be able to install or should I say make a shortcut an app on a main screen and you can get rid of it. So let's go through and click on this one and we will say yes and we will get out and it's there now. Now you want to move this, press OK on it for a couple of seconds. You can move, you can remove from favorite and you can uninstall directly from the main screen. That's the best part. Just like the XR4000. We will get out of this. Let's go down. Also you have settings so you can click on it and you will be able to get all the settings on the side. So if you go to about you will be able to see that this is named Mate 1. A version is there too and then going down your build number is in the bottom. So we will get out of this too. Yes there are little goodies like backup and restore. We will make another video for all of them together and also OTA updates. You can click on it and you will be able to see if there is an update available. You can download it or you can update it and press OK and it will reboot by itself and do everything for you. If you want to change a date and time is here too, you can click on it and go ahead change it there and also you can set it up as 24 hours, change the language, keyboard and more is going to be in the bottom. If you have a Bluetooth speaker and more. Go on next is going to be server settings. You can click on it I like this app because it brings a lot of really good things out of this unit itself. Not only this, but any other Android boxes. The manufacturer is there, AM Logic. Model number is there, which is called Mate 1. And again, the board name is called X96W. And going down, you do have the serial number, which is really mandatory for all the boxes to have. I'm going to blur it out just for security purposes. Also, you have the RAM here that it says 2 gigabyte. How much is using and how much is available is there too. Also internal storage is 8 gigabyte but you can see how much has been used and how much is available which is really really small because of all the apps and all the testing we are doing. On top of that you have the Bluetooth which is 4 plus and going down you have more information that you require for the software itself. Now going under CPU as you're going to be able to see that it is ARM Cortex A53 which is quad core processor that's why it's 4x and it is running on 1200 megahertz. It is running on 64 bit arm and yes it's not 32 and you can see that the ones that are running and the one that are sleeping. The CPU utilization is only 18%. It goes up to like 30 then it falls back to almost 6%. Now the scale governor is on demand. Yes, it's on. And you can see that it is running on 64-bit. Go on next. The Android itself, it is running 7.1.2, which is NuGet. And I heard from them that they are working on 9.0 software to come on this box. And that will be something cool to play with. And also some codecs that you require is all here. One thing that I noticed that under codecs, I only found the H264 and not 265. But the 263 works perfectly, MPEG-4 works perfectly, the MP2 works. These are all going to work perfectly for you and the encoders are done accurately on this box. So we will press home out of this. The next thing I want to mention and I want to capture is going to be speed test. So let's go to speed test and there you go. I already ran some results so I'll go to it. The first thing that I did was 5G network. With the 5G network my maximum download was 134 and my maximum upload was 25.1. Remember where I am, I have 500 megabyte of download and 30 megabit upload. But here you go, you can see that when I put it on 10100, I got 58 for download and about 24.9 for the upload. Going on the top, I connected it via LAN connection. You can see that there's a difference on the icon too, so that way we're not going to make a mistake. For the download rate, for the first time that we did, we got 94, but for the second time we did, we got 96.1 which is really, really good. And then for the upload rate was 27.5. Again, really good. So just to let you guys know that I am using speed test from Okla, but remember that when you're connecting, make sure that you're not going to be under any kind of proxy or VPN to do these tests. So this we can get a proper number. We will get out of this too. The next thing we will play with is going to be YouTube app. So let's go to it. All right, so as soon as we went in, we start searching for 4K video. This way I want to make sure that if this video or if this, if this app going to be able to play 4K videos. So we will select this one. 
And there you go. As soon as it comes up, we will press play and we will go to more and we can see the quality. So you can see that right now by default it is playing it on 2160p on 4K. So it is going to be downgraded back into 1080p for us because we set up our resolution as 1080p for capturing reasons. But you can see that it does play 4K without any hesitation or stops. All right, so we will get out of this app. All right, so the next thing we're going to capture and we're going to cover that from Boomerang and they took over, which is a really good thing. And now everything will be the same. This is for me kind of like hybrid between 3000 and 4000. It looks awesome. The price is very reasonable. If you want to order it, links will be available in the bottom. Make sure you give us a thumbs up for this video if you like it. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you visit our website, which is exitx.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram and other social networking places and thank you.